Hello, I'm Nicholas Evans. Thanks for visiting nicholasevans.com. I'd like to tell you about my new novel, The Brave. The Brave is about the fallibility of heroes, our quest for love and identity, and the way in which family secrets can be so devastating. It's about how those we love the most are the ones we hurt the most. I had the idea for the book when I was watching the TV news just after we'd invaded Iraq, and I saw George W. Bush down on the ranch in Texas wearing his Stetson and his cowboy boots and looking every inch the all-American hero. And it got me thinking about how the legacy of the Wild West still informs our notions of heroism and bravery. When I was a young boy in the 1950s, all I ever wanted to do was play cowboys and Indians, and that's the way it is with our young hero of the brave, Tommy Bedford. We first meet him in 1959, when he's being sent away to a very brutal boarding school, and his only comfort is to escape into his fantasy world of cowboys and Indians. Tommy has a much older sister, Diane, who's an actress, an up-and-coming star of stage and screen. She's beautiful, impetuous, and has a secret about Tommy that's going to turn his world upside down. She falls in love with one of Tommy's screen idols, the suave TV cowboy Ray Montaigne, and she takes him to live with Ray in Hollywood. And for a while, all of Tommy's dreams seem to have come true, but then a shocking act of violence changes all of their lives forever, testing Tommy's bravery to the very limit. I'm sorry it's taken so long to finish the book. When I was about halfway through, I ate some poisoned mushrooms that almost killed me. They wrecked my kidneys. It's been quite a journey, and in the process I've learned a lot about myself and about the power of love and friendship. When I sat down to finish the book, I was in some ways quite a different person. I knew a lot more about the preciousness and the vulnerability of life, and I think that emotion that I brought to it somehow found its way into the book. Anyway, now it's done, and I hope you get a chance to read it and that you think it's been worth the wait. Thank you.